Okay, I have a question here from the March 16. Okay, it says find the coefficient of x is per four and x is per five in the expansion of this one minus two x is per five. So for x is to power four, I can say that this is simply going to be uh, five c four minus two x is to power four. So 5C4 is 5 into 16 is going to be 80. This is 80X is to power 4, okay? And for the X is per 5, this is going to be 5C5 and then minus 2X is to power 5. So this is going to be 32. minus 32X is to power 5. Please be aware of these plus minus signs here. Okay, so this is the first part of this question. We have to give the coefficients of <clears throat> um, this um, um, x to power four and x to the power x to the power five. Now this is this solution is still incomplete. So you would say that the answers are eighty and minus thirty-two because you have to give the coefficients. We are not to give the terms in x is per four. If the question was that give the term in x to the power four, then this could be your answer, 80 x is per four, okay? But here we have to uh, only give the coefficient, okay? Now I'm moving to the second part of this question. It says here that it is given that one plus px, this is one plus px into one, minus 2x is to power 5, uh, there is no term in x is to power 5. Now, what does it mean when there is no term in x is to power 5? Let me give you an example here now. Suppose you have x squared plus 5. Now, this is a quadratic expression, quadratic polynomial. Now, there is, there is no term in x. So that means this is basically x squared plus 0x plus 5. When there is no term in x, that means the coefficient of x is definitely zero. So as it says here, there is no term in x is per five. So he's indirectly telling us that the coefficient of x is per five is zero. So we shall only be interested in the terms in x is per five in this expansion. So this is one, plus px, using the part one's working, I will say this is plus 80x is per four minus 32x is per five. Now, are you clear that why we just need these two terms here? Yes? Because in all this expansion, if you multiply one with, if you multiply one with this, uh, no, not this, this, you get a term in x is for five. And if px is multiplied by this, you get a term in x is for five again. So these are the only two products which are required to find this x is for five value term, okay? So I'll write it like this. So this is minus 32 x is to power five, and then plus 80 p x is to power five, okay? So this is going to give me uh, minus 32 plus 80 p, that is x is to power five. Now, according to the given conditions here, we know that there is no term in uh, x to power five. So this implies that all of this has to be zero. So you put that minus 32 plus ATP, that is equal to zero. So this P is 32 over 80. So that is four over 10. So that is going to be 0.4. So this is the required value of the constant P. 